everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. And today we're gonna to be in Article 230. And specifically, we're looking at the service drop. Now the service drop is the wire that comes from the utility pole to the structure. And it looks like this. Whether we're using the riser as part of the attachment point, or we're using a through bolt or another approved method for attaching it to the structure. And today we're going to look at the minimum height that that attachment's allowed to be, and then also look at some other codes that we're more familiar with, and hopefully dive a little bit deeper. So as we jump into this, we're going to find ourselves in 230.26. You'll say that sounds really familiar, and it does because it's right after 230.24, which gives us all of the prescriptions for how low that wire is allowed to hang on its way to the structure, whether we're on a residential grass area, or we're on a residential driveway, or we're on a commercial parking lot. 230.24 lets us know for these lower voltages that we're often dealing with the height requirements to go from that pole to the structure. Well, the answer to today's question of what is the minimum height of the initial attachment point, that is going to be found in 230.26, and it's going to be 10 feet. 10 feet is the lowest point that it's allowed to attach to the structure, whether it's using the riser or another means of attachment. And the reason that it's allowed to be as low as 10 feet is because if you look back in 230.24, one of the lowest heights that the that the actual loop, you know, the drip or the, the droop of that wire would be the better way to put it. The lowest point of the droop of that wire, which is in a residential grassy area, for example, or a sidewalk area, it's actually allowed to be as low as 10 feet coming from the utility pole and going to the house. So the requirement for the attachment point is the lowest of those minimum requirements, which is 10 feet. And, you know, I look, you know, for maybe one day that to change because 10 feet is awful low. You could jump and grab 10 feet. I mean, you could argue that you would not be grounded while you're jumping and grabbing it, but that bare neutral is. So I look for maybe that one day to be raised, although it's been that way for a very long time, at least all the way back to the 08 code and likely before. So the lowest point that you're allowed to attach to the structure is 10 feet, but should you go higher and are there anything, are there any other outside means that you could require you to go higher? And the answer is yes, maybe. So maybe you should go higher. That's up to personal debate. You have to go higher if your area that you're in requires a higher for this, we're going to call it the droop because I've already named it that, the droop of the wire going from the utility pole down to the structure, you have to meet your minimum height requirements that were spelled out in there in 230.24. So if this minimum attachment point of 10 feet doesn't allow the droop of your wire to meet those minimum requirements, well, the only thing to do is either raise the utility pole, which isn't going to happen, or raise your attachment point to get the, the shortest span of that wire to meet your code that was laid out in 230.24. Let's talk about another way that you may be required to do it a little bit higher. That's if your utility company requires it. That's their wire. They can dictate it to be as high as they want at the attachment point. They can dictate the location that's above and beyond code. They also can dictate higher minimums for that wire that is spanning from the pole to the structure. So they can make you, you know, be required to go higher and higher. But according to the NEC, without the power company getting involved, the minimum is 10 feet, but at all times, your wire going from here to there must meet that minimum of whatever space you're in, whether it's a residential grassy area, a residential driveway, uh, area subject to truck traffic, over train tracks, all these different scenarios, that attachment point has to accommodate for that height. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and I hope that this video added a little bit of value to you, and my bargain is that you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything that you ever need from me, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. I want to encourage you today to keep fighting the good fight. I know it's hard out there right now. You might be in a winter low. Things may be hard. You may be starting your first business or getting ready to branch on your own. I just want to encourage you that you can do it. I'm here to help. If there's any way that I can help you, you can always email me. I just want to see you guys win. Let's get to it.